Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we've got quite the goofy jank combo in standard built around chaotic transformation, uh, which is a six mana sorcery. And it says exile up to one uh, artifact, uh, one creature, one enchantment, one planeswalker, and one land. And for each of those permanents, basically you flip through your deck until the top of your deck until you hit a card that shares a card type with that. So um, this is just another way that I'm trying to use Colossification uh, in Standard, which is a new card that is now legal. Um, so you can kind of cheat out Colossification from your deck if you are using the enchantment mode and if you have uh, roll tokens in your deck or roll tokens um, on your opponent's creatures, which is kind of what we're doing here. So uh, the Asinine Antics puts a cursed roll token on all of your opponent's creatures. Um, so they all become 1-1s. One, one. So that could be useful. And you can cast it for um, 6 mana at instant speed as well. So it kind of can reduce your opponent's army down to just 1-1s. One, um, and the also the Vantress Transmuter can put a tap a creature and put a cursed roll token on it, making it a 1-1. One, one. And then you can also play it as a 3-4 creature. Not the most competitive cards, but somewhat useful. And the most important thing is they, they put a uh token enchantment into play so you're the only enchantment that you have in the deck is classification so every time you hit you play chaotic transformation it's always going to hit classification now the other card we have here is the voldaren thrill seeker which is important to our combo because what we're trying to set up is the voldaren thrill seeker plus classification combo uh to instantly win basically if you get a classification on the thrill seeker it becomes a 23 power creature that you can sacrifice to do 23 power to your opponent's face. Now, one of the cool things about Chaotic Transformation is that you can also exile one of your lands. Now, this is quite important, actually, because if you have just six mana available, um, the land then comes into play untapped, typically, if it's um, any one of our lands except for the Spire Bluff Canal. So hopefully you don't hit that. That would be unfortunate. But any, everyone else comes into play untapped. Um, which is why I'm playing these Fable Passages instead of other duels. Um, so you can essentially, if you have a Thrill Seeker out, or if you have another creature or creature token out, and you transform that creature into a Thrill Seeker, and you also transform a Roll Token into a Colossification, you can choose the order of how this resolves. So the creature comes in first, then the Colossification comes in second, and then the land comes in, it doesn't matter when the land comes in, but the land comes in untapped, it basically gives you the land that you need, the extra mana to sacrifice the Thrill Seeker to do the 23 directly to their face. So it's just, if you set things up right, it's essentially just six mana for 23 damage to the face, which is pretty sweet. Um, as a backup, we also have the three-fold Thunder Hulk, which is a seven mana artifact gnome, and it enters with three plus one plus one counters, and when it enters or attacks, create a number of plus one plus one uh, colorless gnome artifact creature tokens equal to its power. So you might see where we're going with this. Um, if you don't happen to have um, a creature out or if you kind of are using this sort of as a backup, the other thing you can do if you just have, um, if you're just turning, say, for example, the clue token of deduce into a threefold Thunder Hulk and you have a roll token out, you can also have the threefold Thunderhulk come to play first, the Colossification come to play second. Put the Colossification on the threefold Thunderhulk, it would be a 23 power threefold Thunderhulk, uh, which then puts 23 1 1 gnome tokens into play. So <laughs> that's kind of the idea with, with having this. It's sort of a one of. You can um, also hard cast it if you, if you want to late in the game. Um, but that's the idea of having this for our, for the artifact tokens, kind of as a backup to this this plan, and hopefully that's just enough to win. A 23-23, having 23 tokens is pretty good. And then when it attacks the next turn, you get 23 more 1-1 one, one tokens. So that should end the game quickly, uh, quickly enough, hopefully. And um, we also have just some removal here, Torch the Tower, just to kind of try to stay alive here. You can bargain this. There's some other token creation in this deck to bargain it as well. Um, Obliterating Bolt also... Just to stay alive, exiling creatures is kind of important, so that's kind of why I have these here. Um, but you could switch these out for other removal spells if uh, you want, or some bounce spells I was thinking about when I was making it. But 
these are the best removal spells I could think of. Um, deduce again, just a card draw, and also creates a artifact token, so that can be useful with the transformation. And um, Volcanic Spite is important because it can put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library. So if you draw your classification, you want to be able to put it back in the deck to transform it out. Um, so that's why we have four spites and just a sleight of hand to draw cards and make it more consistent. And again, if you hit the card, if you hit a classification or a, th a thunder hulk, you can put it on the bottom of the library with a uh, sleight of hand. So pretty useful. The land, the lands are important here. So we have two fountain port, which is a new land as well, which works really well with chaotic transformation because it can make creature tokens and it can also make uh, treasure tokens both of artifacts and uh, creatures that you can use to transform away and Mirax is the same it creates artifacts and creatures um, so you can choose which one you're going to do with the transformation so if you have two might tokens out you can transform one as an artifact and one as a creature which is pretty cool too so um this is a little bit more useful because it taps for colored mana so i had four of these but um Fountain Port also a good backup as well. So that is basically the deck. Let's jump into the game, see if we can get this crazy chaotic transformation thrill seeker combo at, uh, off in standard. And uh, one other thing, it, it's a kind of a luck because because you do have more than this is not the only creature in the deck. The the transmuter is another creature in the deck. You kind of have to just get lucky. This is also a creature, so if you're transmuting for a creature. Um, you know, it's like a 50-50 chance you're going to hit a Thrill Seeker. Depending on, you know, what's left in your deck, you can kind of calculate the chance. But, you know, sometimes you just got to yellow it. So uh, let's jump into some games and see it in action. All right, Kayak Transformation, Classification, Combo. Oh, uh, Sand is okay, I guess. Not amazing, but keepable. Don't really want this in your opener, but you can't put it back in the deck, so with the uh, Volcanic Spite, so we'll try that. All right, Sleight of Hand. And removal or Deduce? Mm hmm I think we'll go Deduce here. I think we just want to draw more cards and use these on their creatures, if they have any. I'm not sure what we're up against, so <clears throat> we'll go for a Deduce and a turn. Like maybe blue white control. Gosh, okay. Alright. Exiled and uh, let's just play the sleight of hand. And go for the transformation. Play the Mirex. Okay, want another land. Here. We can start using the Mirex. Intimidation campaign, okay. So they draw a card. I think there's a land, that's good. Good draw. Um I could play out this guy, but I think we're just gonna I'm just gonna pass in Mirex and a turn. So then, if we get a roll token on a creature, we can use our Mirex to try to fish a creature out of our deck. Can't get a artifact, but we'll see what they got. Demolition field. Okay. So let's make a dude in response. That returns. This fishes out a what do we need? to do maybe double blue actually 
is more important with the asinine antics. What they get? Okay, there's a land drop. That's good. And full attack. Hmm. Maybe just put a roll token on it. Yeah, this is kind of a weird play, obviously. But they're going to counter it. Okay, we'll pay. We'll try to counter it. Probably very confused as to why I put a Crest Roll token on my token. <laughs> but, uh... Man, it's going to have counter spells for days, though, and, like... Man, these control decks are tough. But if we draw land, we can technically win next turn if we get lucky. Yeah, there's a, another campaign. Okay. Do we just go for it? I don't know. I mean, I'm going to attack first and see what they do. It doesn't look like they have any stops going here. I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna YOLO it here. See what happens. <laughs> Could go terribly wrong in many different ways, but I'm willing to <laughs> willing to risk it. Okay, no artifacts. One creature, yes. And one enchantment, yes. No planeswalkers and uh, we'll ditch the mountain. All right, this is all resolving very quickly. So, uh, land here. Um, we have to do the creature first. And oh, we got there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Take twenty-three. <laughs> oh my goodness. Somehow that managed to work. <laughs> All right. <laughs> On to the next one. All right. Chaotic transformation classification combo. Hand seems okay. We'll see what we're up against. Mouses, probably. What kind of sleeve they got. Uh, I'm not even sure what this sleeve is. But, uh, classic, classic. 50. Okay. I'm gonna try to get greedy with this torch the tower and... And see if I can get him with it. They have two spells. This is very, very bad for me, but... If they just <clears throat> play another one drop, then probably pretty good. Ay, ay, ay. Um, so they're going for the shock, so I really can't respond with, to that, because if they have another spell, it's just a huge bot, so. Yeah. Well played by them. But I will take the six and then be able to kill the guy on my turn, though. So I think I'm just going to do that. And I think we'll cycle away one of these deduces. So, yeah. We'll see. Maybe they won't have another creature. They do have some removal lined up. Yeah, just burn. Okay. Down to eight. Play the canal. Uh, maybe we'll just hold up removal and deduce. I think I maybe play the thrill seeker, but probably better to play it when you have one mana up to use it. If they try to remove it or something. But all right, we'll go for deduce. Slide of hand, sure. Okay. Alright, there's Island. Let's just play out this Thrill Seeker. Uh, 
just so we can get a clock on them a little bit. So if they have two lands in their hand, not two uh, lightning strikes, that would be ideal. <laughs> they are strong. There we go. Target. They're gonna. No? Okay. Let's hold up a torch to tower. In case they have any shenanigans. And we can also sacrifice the clue if needed. They're certainly in the tank here. Okay. Didn't do anything in a turn. Alright, there's a show off. There's a Might of the Meek. Do we do Torch the Tower with Kicker? I think we do, just in case they have another Monstrous Rage. It would be so, so bad if they had a, a Monstrous Rage, so I'm just gonna bargain this. removal. So we'll bottom that. And then... Oh, nothing. Okay. Alright, we'll go sleight of hand. Let's see if we... Okay, we don't need two asinine antics. That would be very asinine. Um, and let's attack. So, got a lot of removal marker ready here. Ooh, okay. So we need to just... This is only uh, free creature opponent controls. Yeah, you can't put it on your own creature. Okay. All right. <clears throat> There's a guy. Well, I think we go for it. just try to kill this, because as much as it would be fun to try to win with something else, I think we'll just torch it, and then I'll probably respond with something, and then... We'll respond with this. I don't know if we want to like cycle any of these though. So I think we'll just actually decline. And then resolve the rest of the stack here. There's a land for them. And, okay. Fountain port, nice. Alright, so here's the hope, is that... Maybe we should just... Maybe we just, like, don't attack with this. I mean, we can. But they hopefully we play this. Um, they have a guy, we can give it token into turn, and then during our turn, transformation. Uh, unless they're gonna... Rope us. Alright, let's just get the game over with. Alright. We can make a treasure token as well. They don't do anything. Okay, lightning strike. And yeah, let's just go treasure. 
Really hoping they would play a creature. So, the Fable Passage. Get them down. Eight, and then we can put this, uh, make, get our guy there, but, eh. It's just, it would be way more fun to win, win with a classification, so. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it. Alright, use this. Our land. Make another treasure. I guess if we make a fish, we can classification into another thrill seeker. But, oh well. I mean, chaotic transformation into another thrill seeker. Down to five. Okay. Still just, just waiting. They got two burn spells. They got us. Ooh, yes. There's a mouse. Perfect. Offspring, yes. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I just want to win. I just want to win with my combo. Alright, cool, cool. Very good. I think this is going to work, actually. Alright, so now... And then make sure it's end of turn. All right, we can cast this with flash. Put roll tokens on there, guys. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, my turn. And now we go uh, chaotic transformation. Yeah, sure. We'll use an artifact. <clears throat> no creatures, but we'll do the enchantment. On this one, no planeswalkers, and sure, we'll get rid of this island. We tap the island. Okay, I'm going for it. All right, sweet. All right, land first, and then the artifact next. And then the chaotic trans, the uh, classification, perfect. The ability on the stack. Oh, here we go. Twenty-three to the face. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Yes. Unless, <laughs> all right, shock. <laughs> Good game. Negative 18. <laughs> On to the next one. Alright, chaotic transformation, classification combo. And seems fine. Um, we can use the spite to put back the classification. Start with passage for. Probably get a red source here. Mountanya. Go from there. Okay, play the canal. Just hold up everything, our instance. That's the sorcery. These are instance. There's Jace. This can target planeswalkers. Okay. Let's see what they do with this. Uh, minus two. Okay. It's fine. So, I think we just take it out. Yeah, I think so.
lets us sort of cycle the classification. Alright. Okay, another land is good. Deduce also fine here. Though we just need them to play a creature so we can put a, a roll token on it. And then we can kind of go off here. Let's see if they do anything. No, go for deuce. Hey, okay, that's a good draw. Fountain port. A good card here. We can use this to make a fish. I think that's worth it, probably. Yep, okay. We'll just pass here. Another Spire Bluff, but we can also draw a card, but I kind of want to save the clue for the transformation. Still kind of waiting for the opponent to play a creature. Look, they've got three colors of mana. Jace. Some sort of control list here. There's deduce, yep. Sure. Okay, land drop. And let's just make a fish. <clears throat> okay, sleight of hand is decent. Um Let's see, this could let us make a treasure end of turn if we wanted to do that. Or just play the tap land to make another fish. Guess we'll just attack, see what to do. Make a fish army. I think we'll just kind of hold up making another fish. Make them do something. <clears throat> Seems like just a control list. Not the not a great matchup, I have a feeling. Just all of our removal might not do too much. We can just run out this 3-4 as well. If we want to. Okay. Um make a fish. All right, there's a Thrill Seeker. Uh, we can put a roll token on one of our own fishes if we wanted to. It's a possibility. Uh, let's attack here. I guess we just kind of keep making fish until... <laughs> opponent does something, I don't, I mean, can do a sleight of hand, I guess. Make sure we keep hitting our land drops. Uh, deduce is pretty good, actually. And just pass. They are just doing absolutely nothing. Okay. I think we'll just deduce again. Okay, Thrill Seeker, and I'm going to sacrifice this to draw. Okay. My turn. Still no land drops here, but. Hmm, I can go for a Thrill Seeker and just, like, force some action on their side. I don't want to 
want to deduce again, though. Yeah, sure. Want to have to discard and end step, so might as well place something. Target one of our fish. And go in. Resolves. Yep. <laughs> See what they do. Uh, okay, sacrifice it, I guess. Yep. Okay. I kind of want to deduce... I mean... If I put a... If I put a roll token here, it kind of threatens transformation win next next turn. So I can try that. Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Let's just do this and see what happens. Opponent's probably really confused. Let's that happen. Okay. <laughs> so, if they tap out for something, then we can get them. Well, not, not for that, but yeah. Alright, so now they've got that. Okay, there's a land drop, that's good. And do we just go for another Thrill Seeker here? Potentially, maybe just play this. Or hold up a fish. Uh, we'll go for a transmuter. I think. And <clears throat> having a creature out block incubator token may fish out some removal. Yep, that's fine. And could play a thrill seeker here while they're tapped out. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't hate that idea. Play a Thrill Seeker. There's a Visa. Okay, that one I can target with the token, roll token here. And there's a land, so <clears throat> I actually could go for it here. And see if they have any removal. Let's see if this resolves. Okay, <clears throat> so we're actually going to attack first, see if they have any removal. Nope, that goes through, or let's see, okay, all right, well, let's, I guess let's just go for it. I mean, I could play this out, try to fish out removal. Not really sure. I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to target my artifact here. Target no creatures. I have the creature we need. And I'm going to target the roll token. 
no planeswalkers and we're going to target a land which will be the probably island And we shall see. Definitely could have a counter spell. They have no interaction here. Yeah, okay. There's three steps ahead. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. There's a Jace. Okay, nice. We're going for like a mill <clears throat> a mill win here. Potentially. Mill three. No secret. There's a chaotic transformation. Oh, there's another one I just drew. <clears throat> well, do we just go for it? That's an that's two, three steps ahead. Down. I mean, it could like double block this. And then we'd have to kind of rebuild. Ay, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I think they have another counter spell. Well, I'm willing to, uh, to YOLO it here again. Artifact, not a creature. Enchantment, not a planeswalker. And one land. Tap the, uh,. We tap this land. All right again. It's possible I should just sort of cast this, try to fish out a counter spell. But yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's a lot of a lot of counter spells. And they have two mana up, so they can still kind of trade and trade. So I think we'll just pass. Well, if they do that, actually, we can, like... I'm going to go after this Jace. If they do that, we can go... If they double block, we can... Uh, torch the tower. Okay. That's fine. Um, do we just want to... Volcanic Spite it? Sure. And we'll put the Torch the Tower back. Gotta find another Chaotic Transformation. Play the land fast turn. Alright, this is a very <clears throat> awkward matchup with lots of counter spells. I probably should have blocked with this because they kinda like this <laughs> Chris Totem is actually benefiting me. Got rid of my asinine antics. Didn't want to draw those anyways. All right, my turn. Yeah, okay, we'll start with sleight of hand here. Ooh, there's another one. Oh man. Well, I think we're just gonna we're just gonna jam again because uh, whatever. Because why not? Okay, artifact. Uh, no creature. Enchantment. No planeswalker. 
and the island, sure. Let's just make sure we tap that island. Okay. Run it back. We got our fourth counter. There you go. I feel like uh, Groundhog Day. Deja vu. Yep. Oh my god. Okay. Well, there you go. There's all four there. Three steps ahead. So no more of those left in the deck. And we have one chaotic transformation left. So. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright. At this point, I kind of... I'm just... I just want to attack... Just attack the Jace, I guess. I mean, I don't even... I don't even care about the roll token anymore, so... Whatever. <clears throat> and it might be worth it just to... fling this at the Jace at this point. What a ridiculous game. Destroy evil. They're going to destroy the enchantment on it. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's funny. They didn't do that in response to... Uh... Okay, so this is going to eat this. All right, I'm going to do, definitely do this anyway, so... <clears throat> All right. You got your bees, huh? Bandit's Hall. Okay. This gets, like, uh, whenever you commit a crime... Get like loot counters, okay. There's a Mirex. Um, I think I just did deduce here. Start. Torch the tower. I'll just play out. Transmuter. And hold this pass. So we can go block and do two to this. If we want to get it off the board. We can also just try to race here. And make a... Uh... Yeah, we'll just take it for now. Make them have something to block our guy. I think we're winning this race currently. Make a Mirex. Okay, Volcanic Spite. Swing, swing. Alright, there's a soul partition. So that exiles it. And oh, I can I can do it again, actually. I guess I can do do this. Make it a one one. <laughs> and uh, sure, let's play it out, I guess. Alright. Definitely a battle of top decks at this point or something. Will the fourth chaotic transformation? We know the bottom of card of our deck is, or close to the bottom, classification. We kind of don't want to shuffle, although we can make treasures with fountain port. This could come down to decking too. Uh, let's crack one of these and draw a card. Another towards the tower. Okay. Well, I'm all for just taking this out and attacking. That's kind of like... Seems like our... Our strategy here. Alright, it's been torched. And swing. And... Play land and just kind of try to win with our lands here, I guess. Sure. Let's 
Let's see what they got. <clears throat> 29 cards versus 22 cards. Oh, X is zero. Okay. <laughs> That's fine with me. Okay. Gain a life. Yep. And a six. So. Okay, there's a sunfall. Um. Well, we could kill our own guys to make it so they don't get a incubator token, but I don't care. I can take out their incubator token, so not too much of a concern. But yeah, just keep making <coughs> Mirax tokens. Make them beat this. Um, we crack this. Yeah, we'll do it. Draw a card. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Ooh, there's our Thunder Hulk Tree Folk. Get them down to four here. Take out this incubator before I can block. Adios. And make them. Mm, yeah, we'll just make them have to top deck something. Might not be the best play, but. Yeah, maybe we just should have held up more Miraxes. Yeah, because. Oh, man. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, we can sacrifice one of them. So yeah, now they have they now they have a five five. Oh uh, yeah, that would have that was not a good play here. <laughs> well, there's our chaotic transformation. Um, okay, so that can let's see, do we, how much mana do we have? Can we do that and get a creature out of our deck? How many real seekers do we have left? Should have a couple left in here. So, one, two, yeah, that should be, I think we just want to go end a turn and make a bunch of tokens, and then on our turn we can just fish out a creature. No, not gonna, not gonna use this, interesting. I can kill it too, with the, with both of these, so, not too much of an issue, but. You have one card in hand. We're tapping mana. Yeah, that was definitely. I shouldn't have even played that. I should have just held up the Miraxes. <clears throat> That's okay. Alright, we'll make one Mirax. We'll make two Miraxes. Can't sacrifice them to draw, but I'd rather just have creature. They do have one card in hand. Alright, let's just go for attacks here. If they animate this, we can try to double spite it. I think that's the play, and then. One, two, one, two, and then I think we have enough to chaotic transformation as well for the win. Uh, we can put up back this island. Let me just make sure. One, two, yeah, okay. Okay, draw another land. Um, yep. Alright, nice. Let's see what they got. They have a removal. Yeah. Okay, that's totally fine. And now they're gonna go to uh, three. Oh, they're gonna draw a card, okay. And then I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the win here. Um. No artifacts. Yes, a creature. 
No enchantments. That. No planeswalkers. And. Sure, again, we'll switch out this island. And. That doesn't really matter. What we do here. Okay, that resolved very quickly. Uh. Doesn't really matter. Land and creature. And real secret targets itself. Whew. Alright. <laughs> Got there. Quite the epic game. Alright. On to the next one. Alright, chaotic transformation, colossification <clears throat> combo here. Let's see what we're up against. Looks like. Got some <clears throat> some of our pieces here. All right, that probably <clears throat> will meet a bolt here because, yeah, putting a roll token on that one doesn't do too much. That putting a roll token then there just a little bit more, but um, we'll see. Let's just play out. I think we just played real seeker here. Use all our mana. <clears throat> and okay there's two two twos if they attack super sketch these have prowess so if they have a monstrous rage we just kind of get run over here um gosh because then this will go to four toughness all right it's gonna do no blocks here Yep. Alright. Had a feeling that might happen. Down to nine. <laughs> the funny thing about uh, roll tokens is it makes the other roll token fall off, I think. Is that right? I can't, re I can't remember. Let's find out. No, it, it doesn't. No, no because the... Uh... I see. So maybe that wasn't the right. <laughs> that probably wasn't the right one to target. Uh, that's okay. And let's just hold back the volcanic spite. Yep, there's another one. They swing with everything. Go to blocks here. On one, they target it with sure. They're probably gonna target the other one. Do they target or that one? This one we don't we'll kind of want to keep alive because hmm. So how much? See what they hit. This is going to be five feet. We kind of like have to trade. Almost have to take this thing out too. That's fine. I mean, we have another another roll token thing we can do. So let's just do this. And I don't think we need this Murex right now. Ditch that. Trade here. Go to six. Play this guy and hope that blocks well enough. Create, try to create a wall of dudes and put roll tokens on things. Oh, geez. That's not good. Uh, they're hacking. I'm definitely blocking. I have another monster's rage. No, another. Okay. That is a lot of a lot of pump they got there. Okay. Maple gives other mice bonuses. So. Hmm. So if I put a put a if I put a roll token on this, it's not that good, because they can just quip.
Hmm. But if I don't, then I'm kind of dead here. So I have to roll token on something. I kind of want to. Eh, I'll put a roll token here. Pass. There's a manifold mouse. Okay. Two manifold mouses. Okay, they're gonna get double strike. I'm assuming. And now they're both just lethal. Alright, GG. Alright, welcome back to the wrap-up. This was quite the janky, fun, chaotic transformation deck with Colossification. I was able to get the combo off a few times, actually, with Thrill Seeker. One time I got just, you know, 50-50 trying to hit Thrill Seeker, get lucky. Um, but, you know, better lucky than good sometimes, and um, it just uh, killed people out of nowhere. So, that was awesome. This is Definitely a janky deck, not something I would uh, play too much in ranked if you were trying to rank up necessarily, but if you're trying to have fun, certainly this uh, hits the mark there. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this deck. Uh, the only thing I was thinking when I was playing is maybe you could um, play a few bounce spells because there's a lot of like um, like pump spells or like uh, things like that that sometimes dodge torch the tower. Uh, so maybe just like a couple bump, uh, pump spells, maybe instead of these removal spells. Um, and maybe you could cut down on one of these acidine antics as well. I'm not really sure. You could kind of cut the numbers there. But that's kind of the only cards I was thinking of that only changes when I was playing the deck. But overall, pretty fun uh, janky deck if you want to jank some people out with uh, Thrill Seeker and Classification. Um, this is definitely one of the ways to do it. <laughs> All right. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.